The Queen of Heaven is a title that occurs only five times in the entire Bible, and it is found exclusively in the book of Jeremiah. In all of these passages, Jeremiah is upbraiding the people of Judah for worshiping her rather than the true God. In fact, entire families, including mothers, fathers, and even children, participated in these worship rituals. Not only did worship of her include cult prostitution, but the Judean women even dared to make cakes stamped with her image as offerings. While it is impossible to identify this false goddess with absolute certainty, some scholars contend that the best candidate is Ishtar, called the Lady of Heaven, the Assyrio-Babylonian goddess of love, fertility, and war. This is scripturally and historically possible, because as one scholar points out, there certainly was Mesopotamian influence in the worship practices of Judah, particularly from the time of King Ahaz until the reign of King Zedekiah. In fact, even after this time, we find in the book of Ezekiel, Jewish women at the temple of God, worshiping and mourning for Ishtar's lover, Tamaz, the god of vegetation. Additionally, the Hebrew word for the cakes that the women made seems to come from an Akkadian word referring to a sweet pastry, which was offered to the Mesopotamian goddess Ishtar. Still, identifying this goddess isn't so clear-cut. Other possible identifications for this false deity include Canaanite goddesses such as Anath and Asherah, the latter of whom definitely seems to have been worshipped in Israel according to archaeological discoveries. This confusion over her name is not surprising considering that as Lady of the Lands she was revered throughout the ancient Near East and was called by various names depending on the region. Despite her many different names, however, this goddess always appears to be connected with the heavenly bodies, and specifically the moon. As a matter of fact, the original language itself seems to suggest this, as the Hebrew word used in the Masoretic text isn't the normal word for queen. Others, including the translators of the Septuagint, understood this word to mean handiwork. Thus, the queen of heaven would be, quote, the army of heaven. Similarly, the Aramaic Targum translates this title as simply stars. Several Bible commentators also identify the Queen of Heaven with the moon, including Matthew Henry. The worshipping of the moon, he says, was much in use among the heathen nations. We remember here Abraham's own father, Terah. In fact, the whole celestial globe with all its ornaments and powers was the object of their adoration. Sadly, in direct violation of God's commands, his people worshipped the host of heaven rather than the Lord of hosts.